Hey guys, how's it going? This is Khan, Mr. So Real, and welcome to this week's Good or Garbage, the number one place where you can find out what weapons, mods, attachments, and gear are being sold for the division that you can spend your hard-earned credits on. Now this week 1.7 has started and quite a few people are happy with it and there are a lot of people who are not. I'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, 1.7. Are you loving it? Are you hating it? Let me know what's up. Uh, and you can also let me know what stuff you're looking for in the comment section as well if there's anything in particular that you guys need. Uh, but other than that, there are some pretty high base roll damage weapons being sold this week. As always, you can check in the description to find out where these things are in terms of the timestamp. And you can see the rolls that they have on them and if they're better than the stuff that you have and maybe you are interested in them. Let me know what you guys pick up this week and are you excited about 1.7? Are you happy about it? Let me know. So without further ado, why don't we get on into this and get started with this week's Good or Garbage. This week at the Special Blueprints vendor, unfortunately, um, I cannot report all of the blueprints that are being sold this week, primarily because with the 1.7 update, there has been a change and uh, all of the blueprints are shared among your characters. So uh, my first character had um, quite a few blueprints and the only blueprints that I can see uh, are the stamina gloves blueprint which I have not purchased and the classic AK 47 blueprint um, if you guys can if you do see any other blueprints uh, please leave them in the comment section below so other people can see what they are if you are interested you can just go over to this vendor and check him out uh, sorry there's nothing I can really do about that they changed the system so that is just how it is at the special equipment vendor, there really isn't that much uh, in terms of weapons, but we'll go through this very quickly. The Centurion has uh, Expert and it has Commanding. We have the Cassidy with Destructive, Responsive, and Boomstick. The Liberator we have with Swift, Skilled, and Capable. The Pacan with Unforgiving, Competent, and Pacan. The Talents are not that bad, but yeah. The Historian, we have um, Talented, Harmful, and History Repeats. Uh, the rest of these weapons, I really don't recommend, so I'm just going to kind of skim through these. If you guys want to see them, then go ahead. You can check them out. Getting on to the recommendations, the masks for the gear set weapon, or for the gear sets are not that bad, actually. Uh, we have a Nomad mask with 955 armor, has 3.5 crit hit chance, 12% damage to elites, and the firearms is at 1245. So this is pretty decent for PvE stuff. Uh, although that really doesn't seem to matter since the Nomad is for the Dark Zone. But if you are using this to farm in the Dark Zone and you are uh, maybe running solo and you're having some trouble with the named NPCs, this might help you out with that damage to elites. Now moving on to the Alpha Bridge with a nice 1000 armor for a mask, which is really, really good. And that's kind of the selling point for this mask. It also has 3% crit chance, a bit lower than the Nomad mask. Uh, and you will have to do something about the firearms because it's only at 1129, but it does come with 14% burn resistance. The defense mask, um, probably the weakest out of the three. The armor is decent at 952. The firearms is a bit lackluster. 9% uh, exotic damage resilience is a bit low and a lot of people may not be looking for exotic damage resistance. And then it also comes with increased kill XP. So this is probably the weakest one out of the lot. Now moving on to uh, one of the better items, this would probably be one of the top picks. That is the Tactician's Authority Backpack. This comes with 1281 armor, 1260 electronics, and then it comes with a really nice 13 uh, 160 skill power. The most you can get skill power on a bag is 13 339. So this is pretty close up there to the top of the line for the skill power. Not too bad for Tactician's Authority, especially if you're running a three or four piece tech. Then you also have the ammo capacity at 46. Now moving on to the knees, uh, the striker's knees, not that bad. Uh, they have a really nice amount of armor at 16.59. The skill power is at 12.997. Wish it was a bit in the 13s, but still not too bad. The most you can get for knees um, in terms of their skill power 
is uh, the same as the bag. It's 13339. So not that far off, but still probably somewhere, you know, you could you, you hope for a little bit better. Comes with burn resistance, disrupt and bleed resistance as well. The Predators Mark knee pads. Again, more good armor on these. The health could be a bit better. The most health you can get on some knees is 16. 679 so quite a bit off but if you don't have uh good predator knee pads with armor then you may want to consider it but please beware that uh the minor attributes are a little bit lackluster with blind disrupt and disorient now for the holsters i don't really see anything special with the holsters uh, the same goes for the gloves except for the lone star gloves now if you are lucky enough to get some uh, some of the uh, new gloves in the caches, then you have better rolls on them uh, straight out of the box. Um, but if you don't have those, then these are some still really good Lone Star gloves, maybe to hold you over until you um, get something better. Uh, the armor on it is pretty nice at 985. Uh, the firearms is a bit low, but the shotgun damage is very, very nice at 1314. Uh, skill haste, 9% and health on kill at four. Maybe you don't need health on kill, but still, this isn't bad. The shotgun damage and the skill haste will make up for it along with the armor. You may want to do something about the firearms, though. The rest of this stuff, I'm not really all that excited about. Uh, the reclaimer gloves are not that bad. Uh, the armor on them is pretty nice. Um, the firearms, uh, sorry, the firearms roll is a little bit low. The assault rifle is not too bad at 1246, the most you can get for gloves. Uh, on some firearms is the same as shotguns at 1334 so it's yeah it could be a little bit better uh, a little bit less than 100 off but you do get crit chance and you do get a bit of crit damage uh, the crit damage could be a bit higher when it comes to crit damage it goes up to 16 and when it comes to crit chance it goes up to uh, 6 so yeah just kind of uh oh sorry the crit damage goes up to 17 my bad um then when you get to the shadow gloves for the banshee the assault rifle damage is good but the problem is that it has pistol although the armor on it is nice and the firearms is low so i would say that is a pass the rest of this stuff is definitely a pass nothing amazing here so let's go on to the other vendors and see what they got moving on to the advanced weaponry vendor really and truly there is nothing that anyone is probably looking for the converted smg9 does have responsive but the other talents are not that great um the rest of these weapons i don't think anyone is in any dire search for so i'm just going to pass on that the omega rifle suppressor is uh, okay at best uh unfortunately it doesn't have crit hit chance or it would be pretty close to a god roll the headshot damage on it is amazing the crit damage is good so if you need something like this maybe even for the m700 carbon this could work out since the optimal range on that is one of the shorter of the sniper rifles but the rest of this not a huge fan of uh the reflex sight good chance good damage but optimal range i guess if you're using it for an smg maybe not too bad but there are better options out there in autumn's hope just as a quick little side note for the snipers out there who are desperate for some gloves we have astute gloves and yes i know astute is not the highest on the list of uh gloves but they do give you a little bit higher chance for uh crits uh if you are running a smaller magazine this may not be that big of an issue the armor on it is not that bad at 976, pretty good. The good thing is that the uh, marksman damage here is 4,562. Now the maximum you can get for a sniper rifle is 4,681. So it's not that far off from the max. Then you have 15% uh, crit hit damage and you have 7% enemy armor damage. Now this could work out really well for PVE content. If you are looking for something like that, it could work out in your favor. And it also comes with uh, 12,060 electronics. Not too bad if you're looking for this then there you go if you're not let's keep it moving at Kerman station there is a pretty nice ACR being sold I know that the ACR is not the most popular weapon of choice but if you are wanting to try something different that's not a, an M4 then this could be something you may enjoy or good for just uh, checking out and taking it for a spin shooting something different now this ACR luckily has somewhere around the 85 ish mark 
uh, or it may be even a little bit better uh, percentile for base damage. The base damage with my character is 25.4. Yours will vary depending on the amount of firearms that you have. Now it has 19% enemy armor damage and the talents are not that bad. It comes with prepared, brutal, and destructive. Now destructive and brutal would be great for PVE content. Prepared, while the ACR's recoil is not that bad, you may want to consider changing this out for something a little bit more to your liking. If you do want to try out the ACR and if you do pick one up, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what do you roll on this thing if you change anything at all. Let me know. As a quick side note, over in the cavern there is a special little gem uh, being sold and it is unexpectedly a purple stamina mod now i would really like this to have the same number uh, but be firearms unfortunately it is stamina we have a 210 stamina roll with three percent damage to elites sometimes people in the streams ask me why do i have purple mods well if i'm doing pve content these purple mods really make a lot of difference especially if you have them in all of the slots 3% in, I believe, one, two, three, four, five different uh, slots will give you an extra 15% damage to elites so you can really stack that in and that can help you out quite a bit you may want to try it out see if it works out for you this is strictly for pve content uh again like i said i wish it was firearms but we'll make do if you do need this pick it up and if you do pick it up let me know exactly how many you get and if you love it over in the ward i know that some of you guys are still looking for mods with skill haste so here you go there is an electronics mod with 251 electronics a little bit low for my liking but it does have three percent skill haste if you are looking for something like that then go on over to the ward and pick them up over at the firewall for those using turrets and desperate for some extra damage there is a prototype performance mod that gives you 3.5 percent turret damage now the max goes up to four percent so unfortunately it is not the perfect uh mod for you but until you get some fours this 3.5 may just have to do in park avenue there is an amazing smg 9a2 if you've been looking for one of these then you are definitely in luck this week we have one with 20 percent crit hit chance the base damage is in the 90 i believe hold on let me double check this is in the 90 over 90 percentile in terms of base damage now it comes with uh for my character 21.9 yours will be different depending on your amount of firearms the talents comes with competent commanding and responsive i know a lot of people like responsive and competent if you don't like commanding then you can get rid of it and put something else in but remember commanding every kill performed while your signature skill is active is staying extends its duration by 20 percent so what this means is that if you are running some kind of build and you want to chew through some npc enemies and use your super while you do it if you kill them with that super uh you will get it extend it even longer and you can use it even longer so this might be a really good thing to have if you're trying to get those global event credits in east 53rd street for you lone wolves out there there is a, a very very nice prototype performance mod with six percent first aid self heal i know a lot of people have been looking for this for a long time this is the max you can get with six percent so if you do pick this up pick it up leave a comment let me know how many of them you grab at west 46th street if you've been looking for the t rant suppressor trying to get a reduced threat on your assault rifle or something like that there is one for sale with seven percent crit hit chance 5.5 percent headshot damage and four percent crit hit damage with 49 percent reduced threat if you are looking for one of these there you go in East 46th Street, if you have been in dire need for an electronics mod with some health, then you are in luck. There is a very nice electronics mod with 265 electronics and 2,941 health. The health could be a little bit better, but still that amount of electronics is very nice. And to have that health on it, not bad at all. In West 42nd Street, if you've been looking for a nice black market SASG sausage, then we've got a really good one for you. Uh, the base damage on it is in the 85 
top 85 percentile of base damage comes with 291 stagger could be a bit better uh does have nice talents on it brutal predatory and responsive in the third so you can switch out predatory if you don't like it and put something else in there and go to town with the sausage in east 42nd street for you ak lovers i've got the god roll there is a classic AK-47 with, this is in the uh, 96 plus percentile of base damage, which is amazingly high, uh, especially for AKs. Then it comes with 23% enemy armor damage. The talent's accurate, swift, and deadly. Now remember, swift will always raise your DPS and inflate it quite a bit, so you will want to probably roll that off if you don't really need it. Um, and accurate is not too bad for AKs because the uh, the accuracy does wiggle around a little bit But this is a very very good AK. Don't sleep on this if you are in the market for an AK This is going to be a killer In DZ5 the vendor has a loud vent break now while I personally do not recommend the loud vent break just because of the increased threat I know some people really don't care and they want to go for max damage now this has 19% crit hit damage 5.5 headshot damage and 2.5 critical hit chance if you are in the market for a loud vent break this is a damn good one to get in dz6 we'll do a very quick run through of some of the things that they have here there's a lone star mask uh the armor on it is kind of okay uh 10 percent damage to elites that's all there is really to talk about for that the final measure vest i really really wish this had more armor 1836 just doesn't really seem to be uh, enough for my liking, but it does have a very fat amount of health 16 to 70 the max that you can get for a vest um, I believe is 16 6 7 4 and then it comes with 8% skill haste, which is not bad at all. You will need to do something about uh, the stamina just in case you do decide to pick that up. The tactician's backpack, good armor, 1317. Health could be a bit better. It's only at 11872. Uh, the striker knee pads, very good armor again, but this has exotic damage resilience only at 7%, which is kind of sad. Uh, then the tactician's holster, Really good, it has uh, skill haste, 6%, uh, 1258 firearms. The armor could be a lot better. The stamina and electronics are a little bit lackluster. The reclaimer gloves, armor on it, pretty good. But then again, it comes with pistol damage, LMG damage, and crit hit damage. Don't really know about this, I would say pass. If you're gonna pick up anything, I'd say maybe look at the tactician's holster maybe the tactician's bag and then the final measure vest if you do need some stuff like this striker knee pads not too bad but it all depends on you if you pick any of this stuff up leave a comment in this comment section let me know what did you get in dc8 there's a really nice nimble holster being sold with 988 armor 1260 firearms 1235 stamina 1256 electronics it also comes with 3.5 percent crit hit chance if you need something like this you definitely want to go and check that out there's also a final measure i believe final measure bag uh being sold in the other vendor um the armor all right guys that is going to do it for this week's good or garbage i hope you found uh some useful stuff being sold i hope you picked up some of these uh really high damage weapons that are going on this week there were quite a few and i was actually pretty surprised to see all of those weapons that had really really good base damage on them so go ahead and pick them up if you did pick up anything let me know as always in the comment section what you picked up it helps me uh know what you guys are looking for and if there are anything uh in particular that you guys are looking for leave a comment in the comment section and i will try my best to uh remember what i can i can't promise to remember everything but uh, i will be on the lookout for things that are most popular and if you do see something that you are looking for as well in the comments make sure to hit that thumbs up button to uh show me that uh, that's something that you're interested in as well so without further ado uh, i'll let you guys get back to the grind of getting back uh to those global events and trying to get your global event score up so that you can either get a mask or get whatever it is that you're looking for or to just blaze through some of those commendations we are going to be streaming uh, me and the stream team a little bit later on so if you do see this video and happen to see us streaming on youtube twitch or uh, mixer then come on and stop by have a couple of laughs and chill with us and i will see you guys next time take it easy have a great weekend i'm gone
Peace. Oh.